It's so funny. I would really like to know where to take it away to. <laughs> Welcome to freedomslips.com revolution radio. All right. Let me check on you, Mosin. Are you with me, sweetie? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So what he's, I think what my son did and he disabled the uh, headset. Now I can figure it out. Well, you sound good. Okay, and okay, I want everybody to go to the homepage because we're listener supported. <laughs> and we need to donate, donate, donate. Okay, um, otherwise, yeah, say something again. Like, how's your Monday going so far, honey? Oh, uh, it could be, I guess, better. <laughs> well, if no. The, if the cell, see, because it seems like I'm using the uh, microphone from the. Uh, you know the camera, the 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 uh, laptop, right? Which is not as good because it's not as clear. And for oh, you, some, s- you sound good if that's what you were talking with right now. All right. Well, we'll take it that way then. Because if you take the headset out, can't you hear also as well as talk without? I I just think my headset doesn't work. Yeah. So take it out of the holes and talk to me like you would if it's your laptop and, you know. Okay, you tell me if it made any difference. Okay. Did it make difference? Hello. I still hear air, but otherwise you're coming in clear. In clear? Yeah, you're clear. (laughs) Yeah, it is only the moment, isn't it, Mosin? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, is it? funny it happens right at the last second well I mean, we're both tauruses i just wonder because it's a square to the moon in aquarius and that sociability and the new um hopefully sight but mostly aquarians don't have always clear sight but they're the ones who try to juvenate and have some kind of social thing going on but that's square our solar sign so it's like okay what kind of corny are you gonna play with right now but it's all cool. It's good to go. Okay, sounds good. I mean, really, why not? You know, it's life. <laughs> Thursday, my um, headset didn't work for some reason, and I was just, I, thank goodness I had the Dell. And it's got the mic and the video and the, you know, the whole nine yards in the computer itself. But the one I use now doesn't. So I'm like going, oh, I just got a new headset and, you know, oh my gosh, what am I doing wrong? Is it me or whatever? You know, the universe is playing with us. The veil is being lifted. These are the Hopi prophecies occurring. We can only react in a beneficial way if we want more of it to become more beneficial. It's like the gates to the divine right order are here to serve you. Caution what you play with. Caution what you believe. And have warning about, you know, anything goes. <laughs> that is correct. That is correct. I'll tell you what. The, the, can you hear me, honey? Yes, you're good. Am I, am I clear? Okay. I want to tell you this. The, the funny thing is that um, uh, my daughter has been really, really... Uh, you know, kind of fretting about this, is that just two brand new phones. I mean, I got my phones about three, four months ago. Mm-hmm. And she got a new phone, and they stopped working. They stopped working, and uh, she went back to uh, Verizon and uh, changed the SIM card in hers, and she came back, and it stopped working. It stopped working again. It start, I mean, it, it started working when she came back, and just after a little bit, it stopped working. So I can tell you something 100%. There is something going on very, very drastically. Now, if she takes the phone out of the area where it's not working, does it work? Yeah. I actually, you know, she was well, saying... Well, because... Oh. Hmm. Mm-hmm. She was saying that she left home, she went outside, and it was working there again. So anyway, it, the electromagnetics, it's just the same thing that I have headaches. It's the same thing that I've had problems I don't even understand. Right. I know for 100% that 
that something is interfering with my electromagnetic energies that is beyond my control. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying very, very hard right now to... to um, God, it sounds like somebody's listening in. Have you ever had a party line... And there was like a third person there, but nobody knew who it was. Yeah, I don't, there is not a third person. I'm the only person. I know, but you can't hear the air? I, yeah, I hear whoosh, whoosh, whoosh sound. Yeah, I do. Well, and maybe. Way, oh, jeez. <laughs> we need to have your land checked out, babe. You might have some kind of portal open in there, man. And hmm. Mona, huh. I'm going to tell you something. You, you, you hear this? You hear this? Uh-huh. A lot of times that's what I hear through my ears. Oh. I, I told you that. Remember I said that? I, I feel like there's a, there's an opening up there. There's a, it's like I'm out there. Oh, I mean, last night I went to sleep just before I went. And I tell you what, it's not always there. It's Get not closer to the computer, please. You can't hear me again? Yeah, you're fading right back out like, you know, you're... Uh, hold on. This is crazy. Hello? Yeah, hi, but no better. I wonder if we're both being affected because it's been a really... I mean, my planets or whatever energies are happening around us, I do believe that we are getting a higher vibrational toning, but I don't want yours to be the point... Okay, do you know your cardinal points in your yard? Um, no. Okay, but if you could find your cardinal points in your yard and get bay leaf, bay laurel leaves and stick them on in the cardinal points, if you can put them in the ground, whichever, that'll start helping balance out the, um, I want to say positive negative. And I'm only telling you in the wild crafting way because I'm not a scientist. I'm, I'm, I'm a... What you know, <laughs> I'm a wild crafter, <clears throat> and it works. And bay tree also deters lightning and things like that, so it'll help with the atmospheric conditions that I'm feeling and hearing you're under. Yeah, well, I tell you something there's hundred <laughs> percent, thousand percent, something is happening with the electromagnetic waves in my house. You know, and, uh, you know, it's very, very funny, and it's not very reassuring, but I, oh. can, tell, <laughs> but I, I can tell you this. Listen to this. Okay. E every time my daughter comes in and sits around me and stuff, the phone stops, wor stops working, I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm some sort of a, I, I, uh, and there is something going on in me. I mean, I, I know this. I told you about the wishing sound, wishing sounds that, you know, it started about three and four months ago, mm -hmm. and it's escalated. I think my pineals have totally opened up, and it could be that I'm just, I'm just uh, surfing without even knowing it. I, I mean, it, it sounds so All right. No, it, it doesn't. But I'm envisioning under you some kind of actual, you know how water sounds when it's swishing by? Not just going by, it's swishing by. Like air, but different. But you know what I mean? That's what I'm seeing under you. There's something else going on. Yeah. Deeper than just a magnetic thing, even though it is all magnetic. But, I mean, uh, the fluctuations and different stuff that's happened in my life from me being me, I get the drip totally. But, um, <sighs> hmm. What do you think this is? This is, this is disturbing. Uh, listen, uh. Uh, do you hear me, or do you hear me less now? It's you not a less thing as much as it is a distance thing, okay? Okay, so it's more distant right now, right? Thank you, yes. Okay, so I can tell you this for us with assurance. The, <coughs> the headset has stopped working. Okay. Just, just like two brand, brand new people, <laughs> okay? Mm-hmm. And uh, I want to just tell you this. It's just, uh, I don't know. Um, and it's so funny, you could probably take them back and they would try them and they would work. And they look at you like you're a fool and you're like, oh, fucking well, sure. well I, pardon me, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> you can't explain this to people who have no conscious reality of what give and take and 
action reaction is, you know. Right, uh, but um, I mean, as I said, my daughter went back there. They changed the SIM card. It was totally working, and when she she came to the house, it still was working. Okay, and you know, voila, about. 10, 15 minutes and half an hour, whatever. And I, I just didn't want to hear about this because I've been working so hard. You've probably seen that I put some more papers up. Yeah, you went hog wild on your page. Yeah, and I, I have put that on in the chat too. Yeah. And so what happened, I didn't want to listen to my door. In fact, I just kind of told her, you know what, go to your room because, I, oh my God. You hear all this? Yes, I'm hearing all that. <laughs> Are you sitting still? Yeah, I'm sitting totally firm and still. There you go. Isn't that interesting? So the headphones are not plugged into your computer. They're plugged in. They don't work. I tell you what. No, Here. unplug them. Get them completely unplug out of there. <laughs> okay, unplug. Oh my gosh, that? it's still, yeah, isn't that interesting? Yeah. Well, i tell you something else, too. Have I, you got any dongs or bells or anything? No. Nope. Oh, shoot. No, the best, the, I mean, this is a Logitech. I mean, really. Can you hear me? No, you're pretty far away. Can you hear me now? I can hear you, but you still don't sound close. I'm still not good? No. Hold on. Can you go to your Skype um, mic and see if you can put it on adjustable? Maybe. My you know how Skype. to do that through the tools? This is your Monday lesson, folks. Take notes. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. Oh, I love it. Why not? Uh, oh. Hello. Can you hear me better? Oh, I'm hugging you as I speak. It, so is, it is so cool. It's working better, yes. It's is it working better again? Honey, you have just now joined Adventures of a Feral Hippie. I'm glad you came out of the elements. <laughs> okay. Uh, You're Mona, perfect. Mona, um, do I sound good? You're perfect. Okay. You know what? I tell you what. There's electric electromagnetic disturbance. So there's no question about it. Oh, I don't, I don't doubt know. it. That's why I have my Shungite pyramid right here, right next to me. <laughs> I'll tell you something else that's happening to me. All right? Are you listening? No, I'm way far away somewhere. Yes, I'm listening. <laughs> well, I'm just worried that you don't hear me. No, though. don't worry, hon. It's, it's not that you, it's not that you don't listen to me. It's just that if you hear me, that's what I mean. Okay, I listen. think we're here. Another thing that's happening. Another thing that's happening. Mm -hmm. My car. Okay, a brand new battery that I bought about four or five months ago. And the car should be perfect. And I, you know what? Once in a while, for no apparent reason, absolutely, it won't turn. Right. Your guides are trying to help direct you where you're going to go or not. And I'm going to tell you something else, Bruno. <laughs> I have been, I've been trying to, and, and you know what happened? Hmm. I told my son to sit there and, and, and start the ignition. And I put my hands on both sides of the battery. Voila, came up. Oh, so it you're is. having to talk to your... Oh, that's almost like mingling and giving thanks. Everything's becoming more conscious. Isn't that interesting? I'm telling it, you this. Uh, there is no question that my consciousness, my frequency is through the roof. Right. It, well, I, I, I don't, I don't, but don't you also think it's just nice to recognize things, even though we think they're just material things? They're really here... As a thing that is part of us, it might be separate, but look at all you know. So it's we have to learn to give thanks. I did this. I used to copy all my um, paperwork at this library or not library bookstore. It was my favorite bookstore, and it had a little sign over it saying, "If you treat me with respect and honor, I." And it was the best copy machine I found in St. Pete, Florida, okay? Because I did a lot of copies for my lectures and things like that. And back then, you know, so it was like, gosh, it is. We have to give honor to the material things and appreciate it all because it still has a vibration 
that counts. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah, i tell you something else funny that's going on. Hold on. In a world... The moon is in the seventh house. And Lola. Go ahead. Mona, yeah. can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I'll tell you another problem that it is. I cannot hear my headphones. Well, right, you're not supposed to. No, I do. I hear it through my headphones when oh. I talk to you. I hear it from the computer. So you hear it from, I believe, again, am I going back? Am I fading? No, you're perfect. Okay, see, the, now the microphone. It's all perfect. The headphone is working, <laughs> but, I hear, but I don't hear you. I hear you from the computer. Oh, well, is, that's interesting. So that tells you the circuit is also is messed up again. Do you have a two-plug adapter from the single plug of the headset? Honey, I know all that stuff. I know all about electricity. No. Oh, interesting. It is, it is perfectly connected just uh -huh. the way I always do with you. Okay? <laughs> and I'm telling you this. These, uh, these <coughs> things are disturbing. You know, uh -huh. yes, yesterday I had to sit... You know, sometimes I feel like, my God, I don't even understand myself. The energies that, you know, that I, I, I mean, this morning I thought to myself, I said, what's going on? Am I going crazy? What is, I'm, I'm not going crazy. I know that. I, I, I give lectures to, to, to all people about what it is, so I don't obviously think that way. But it is a rhetorical question. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> what, it, you know... And I'm saying, what is going on? I mean, what, there is something's going on with your energies. There's no absolutely no question about it. You know, you want to go to see, and I'll tell you something else that's happening in me. Mona? Say it again. The, the other thing that happens to me? Hello? I'm here. Okay. Well. <laughs> Honey, I got It's all good, sweetheart. You're here. Yeah. The other thing that, that, that it is, I don't like the nights anymore. I can't sleep at night, which I, I it's been the case for th years now, three years. But the, and, but the point is that before I worked through the night and I slept when I wanted, never thought of anything. Now it's like I'm going in here and say, where's the sun? Where's the sun? I feel like, where's the sun? You know? Well, good, because that's part of what's helped waking all of us up. If we can get satisfactory input from it, I mean, it's going to be overcast all week here, but otherwise, it's vital. That's part of the pineal wake up, too. Yeah, I'm not talking about when it is overcast. I'm saying at night. There is no sun. Of course there is no sun. I don't know. We supposedly have a second sun coming that's a dark, or uh, what do you call it? Dark dwarf, black dwarf, whatever, dwarf. A dwarf? Yeah, you know, it's, it's this secondary sun to supposedly this solar system. What, where is that coming from? Um, they're saying through the Libra Virgo constellation at this time. But um, for what I saw... Personally, etherically, they're beautiful, like Jupiter, and just, I mean, I couldn't, be I couldn't believe it, what I saw. And I couldn't film it either, which was funny, because I'm like, oh my gosh, you should see this. <laughs> what you saw, you mean, you, per you personally saw the second sun? I saw the quadrant of the, I saw this the etheric solar system like what it is in us with us materially oh so in your vision you mean yeah it was a waking I mean, moment I, it's like yeah I walked to probably oh. the fifth dimension and looked up and said hey how's it going <laughs> yeah this is beautiful I wish you people could see this there's yeah. so much more that anybody really would recognize that is valid and I can see Nubaru, Wormwood, Planet X, whatever. The other countries have already brought this information out. It's only America that has been dumbed down, stupefied, fossilized pineal gland through fluoride. I mean, this is... Did you see the thing about the Pope? 
I mean, this is new world order shit coming down now. Well, yeah, of course. We all have to be ready and prepared for just about anything and everything, etherically and materially. You know, personally speaking, I'm much more interested in the ethereal aspect of it because this, you know, this cabal, this world order, all this stuff, it's it's just it's nothing. It's just... just uh, well, if you don't put validity into it, it doesn't become valid. I agree with that. And that if you don't feed it, it doesn't grow. But it's still a part of the system. You can't deny the dark because of the white. You've, you, you've got to have that balance and duality for the center. That's yeah, the only I, way to go up. Yeah, I never said that I deny it. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't deny that. <laughs> I don't deny the... Uh, Abductions, the experimentations, the underground. Uh, Gosh, all I wasn't stuff. even thinking that part, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah. All that <laughs> stuff is there. I believe it. I believed it before even the movement started. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I probably 15, 20, 20 years ago, 2020. 20, right. Maybe, right. Let me think. Let me think. Right well, now, go it's, ahead and think. You know, at, at least uh, 20, 25 years ago. Mm. I said to my wife, I said about the underground bases. Yeah. I mean, there was absolutely no, no information out there. And I certainly was not privy to that if there was anything going on. Right. I was not a conspiracy, uh, you know, theoretician or, or aficionado or, or, you know, anything of the sort. So. Okay, but you know that through the etheric does maintain and be influenced by that same order of energies. So you can't separate the thing and the no thing. It's all part of the same thing. Well, of course not. Of course not. The energy that the consciousness is energy. Mm-hmm. It manifests itself in the three dimension as energy. I think the the way to to be honest with you, the way that I, uh, if I, if you want to say, well, I don't want to say suffer, uh, but I, I, you know, it's not quite pleasant at times. But the the way that I experience these energies is just because they're beyond the envelope and threshold of a three dimensional uh, system. They're not supposed to be there, you know. And to be honest with you. I look at myself 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, whatever. I mean, happiness flowed through me and, and, and ease and all this stuff. Although I was a much more volatile person, I used to get angry. I was very, very strict in things. I was a perfectionist. So I had a lot of qualities that would be totally deterrent i couldn't even have that now with these these energies you know mm-hmm. they, they would just get you know augmented and they would just get accelerated beyond beyond anything but i i'm telling you this at that time you know duality still existed the positive the negative it was very very uh it, it was it was not difficult to to manage it Mm-hmm. You know, it, you know, God gave you the thought, the, you know, through your uh, power of thought and, and, and willpower and stuff like this. You disciplined yourself. I became very disciplined, of course. I mean, you know, through what I had to do, be a, being a professor, this, this, this. I had to learn to be more and more and more and more disciplined anyway. Mm-hmm. And that time, That's I, the secret to the word is discipline and how we right. want to carry ourselves and how we just are going to take and be part of it all with ourselves. We're about to go to a break, Moses, and so I just didn't want you to keep breathing when you didn't have to. But anyway. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah, it's 27 after, so usually the music starts. and I don't want to not hear a whole story if there's a whole story, you know what I mean? Right, right. Uh, no, but I, I think, uh, just to put it very succinctly, I think... There are new energies. They're beyond beyond uh, uh, what they should be, and mm-hmm. they're going to affect us. <laughs> you know, yeah. One one example that I have is the following. I mean, I don't care how how disciplined you are and how experienced you are. Still, when you put your hand in a pool of 
static charges, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get a shock. Mm-hmm. Oh, I get shocks by the clothes I wear. Uh-huh. I uh-huh. I can't even wear a watch because they don't work on me because so. I just am thankful for the now, and we'll be back in a now later. Just soon yes, return on the other side. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, have we got our breasts? We are here at Revolution Radio. Uh-huh. It is Monday. <laughs> uh, the 13th of February, March, April. April. <laughs> oh, it is. It's like sometimes I think that just... We all have to get in and hear, but not take it personally, because there's so many shows here. I mean, oh, my gosh. Ones that just are to entice you to look further, because we're not here to set straight answers unless they harmonically resonate with you. And since we know that we're listener-supported, I would appreciate knowing, because I have, I've seen it, y'all are doing great, but keep the good work up. Yeah, keep supporting to this station, freedomslips.com. There is, I think, still with a $75 donation that you get a silver bar. And I think it's at the $100 seed jumbo pack. You will also receive a bar, silver bar. So if you're thinking that your future is in need of silver, get yours today. So, okay, Mosin, how are we doing, sweetie? I'm doing fine, Yeah, you sound excellent. And I want to bring something up to you because I've heard it too much. (laughs) And I'm not trying to get down on you, but you say, I worry. And that creates more worry. Have trust and faith in yourself. You're so much... Of a beer that if you put worry into it, your bean gets kicked in its shin and confused. So don't worry. Be here now. It's all okay. Life is not in control. Only most of it is in your control. Like the discipline you were talking about earlier. But verbiage means so much. People just don't even get the idea that our bodies will respond to how we talk and our conditions and environment get created by our not knowing what our intent just was, because we just go ahead and say it. No, I'm not saying yes. that the feelings mm-hmm. aren't adequate because they are also in need of um, knowing that you're safe and nothing's being really victimized and it is what it is, whatever. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, to that, I want to tell you this, my dear, that. Actually, first of all, we've talked about this many times on the uh, on this radio show, and also from the point of view of saying "don't worry," things mm-hmm. like this, you're definitely uh, preaching to the choir. I know. And uh, I want to tell you this: that actually, actually, let me expound on that a little bit. Um, if you want to understand how your system really works, there are Basically, and uh, actually I I published one paper and I think the second one is coming. I just wrote about all this stuff. Um, There are basically three principles at work in here to make you a high consciousness person that you basically can create and manifest uh, in in getting the universe at your disposal, mm-hmm. and and the universe would have confidence in respecting you, that so to speak, as soon as you you put your thoughts out there, which is analogous to saying here, just as soon as you open your mouth, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. And the universe will, you know, has the respect and. And it's it's very synchronous with you, very harmonic with you, and will do the right thing. Okay, now there are three principles. I mean, we can we can talk about these mechanisms in terms of chakra system, uh, endocrine system, endocrine system, and and physiognomy. And these are just really really advanced sub- subjects that I'm writing about right now. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing more and more in my uh, TV shows and hosts. And mm-hmm. Would you explain what time that is and where it's at? Because I've had someone question. I gave yes, them sir. already your Facebook link, but do you have other links that people can get your other things on? I think I think it's becoming very very easy to find me now. You cool. know, like YouTube. 
Yeah, if you just go to Google and talk and, and, and just – all they need to know is my name, Molson, M-O-H-S-E-N, Paul, which is P-A-U-L, of course, Safarazi, S-A-R-F-A-R-A-Z-I. Cool. And even even to a point, I think if you they just go get Molson Paul, it'll probably will will stream it to them to choose from. Okay. Anyway, uh, and if they go in there, you Google, you're gonna see there's there are a lot of people out there. I see it every day that I look at. There there are more added to the Google. You know, apparently there are people who are taking the articles and they're referencing it in their lectures. In, in their video lectures cool. or they share them on their blogs and this and that. So when you do that, that streams back on the computer. Because I've looked at it and said, what has this guy got to do with me, Robert so-and-so? I don't know this man, you know? Uh -huh. And I clicked in there and I went there and I saw that he's got like 50, 60, I don't know how many, uh, there are lots of lectures he's given on ayahuasca. Okay. Neat. And in there, he had put links of my blog, you know, one of the blogs, which is uh, Human Energetics uh, and Physiognomy and Ele Energetics, basically, mm -hmm. and and referenced to, to the, you know, and, and 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 said, and actually picked out a few articles and said, you want to understand about yourself, about your chakras. Go to this guy. Anyway, things of like that. Isn't that, that yeah. just Kate? That's just yeah. cool. Yeah. And this is just from last, uh, you know, actually it's beginning to surface now because it takes a little bit of time before, you know, these search engines and stuff like that keep up with you, you know. But basically I've started becoming active since December. And prior to that, two years ago, I wrote a horrendous, well, not horrendous, but I looked at a couple of hundred papers and published a few books mm -hmm. you know all the stuff but I disappeared because as you know I was very much uh, dedicated to my wife right. and, and she needed me so but anyway um, so if they go and just type Molson Paul Safarazi I think it'll satisfy their, secu uh, their uh, curiosity mm -hmm. because a bunch of stuff comes out there you know then there's also as I said uh, you know so now there are. I, I also noticed within the past two three days. I noticed there are some search video search people mm. that they have picked up on my. You no, know, I don't have that many videos. I've got like, I've got like this like eight twelve together, right? Well, you got our shows, yeah. Yeah, there are eight of those, and this come. It's becoming then you know. You're talking coming. YouTube. Yeah, and then you well, should have two of your TV our, shows. Right, and then yesterday I did the third one. Cool. So it's, it's not that many. So I'm I'm just assuring people in the future it's going to be easier and easier mm -hmm. to find. But me your Facebook to, wall gives the other places that you do produce the th your papers on. Yes, of course. And WordPress.com uh, is a place that I publish my papers, and at the moment I have five different blogs. Right, <laughs> and, and you know, and and they're increasing. The reason I have different blogs because they're different subjects. Right, I, like I have a spiritual science one on one, which basically looks at it, the philosophy of spirituality. Nothing scientific. It doesn't get into nitty gritty details of chakras, dup, double cone chakras, and the the cells, and all. You know what I'm saying? That kind of stuff. And, okay. And 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 you know. So I've got one that's on the cosmos. So anything that has to do with the mechanics and all that kind of stuff. Uh, right now, I just want to think about what we can do since you recognize yeah. the mechanics of it. What have you felt from your heart? Because this is body, mind, and spirit that we are conjecturing here. We're you know learning just what it is fa um, facilitated by is <clears throat> one thing. But, you know, we all need to learn how to give yeah. ourselves those warm fuzzies and to work with this energy, not against it. How would well, we discipline ourselves to do that? Cer certainly. I, uh, all the effort that I put into this is for humanity. There's nothing personal to it. I don't gain a single cent. 
even when the institute opens up, I'll probably put more money in it than ever taking anything out. You know what I'm saying? Well, I wish everybody their cosmic credits to get the wealth to keep on going because we deserve that, Mosin. Yeah, my, yeah, honey. At that time, <laughs> I will be talking to people because I tell you what, when I was in o- Ocala uh, past few years when I was an executive and, you know, I you know, I, we we went to this. We, we gave a lot to charity with my wife, so they 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 requested me to be on this board and that board. And, oh well, yeah. And, oh, and, and, and so I started doing some charity work. Everything I've done in my life, I think, has had a purpose. Mm-hmm. Whether I've said this before, whether it's mechanics, vibration mechanics, or continuum mechanics, or material science, or whether whatever you want to think, crystals, this this, there has been a reason. There's been a reason. There's been a light at the end of the tunnel. There's, there's been, it's been leading me here. I have no question about it whatsoever, okay? I'm so sure about this. And, you know, one of the things is that me doing uh, charity work and that sort of charity work, first of all, I hated going to these places, you know, because I saw a lot of phonies in there who want to promote themselves and the rich, rich uh, people coming in there and uh, this and this. So what I did, I became actually a pain in their neck <laughs> because what I did when they saw Paul, they used to call me Paul. There, we used to when Paul comes in, it's open the bag. So and I, I, I everywhere I did for the symphony, for the uh, Chamber of Commerce, for the Cancer American Cancer Society, everything. Everything I ever did, okay? I mean, I raised money and money in the shortest period of time. So that told me, yeah, I can do it. I'm not shy. And, of course, I wrote the first big check. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That puts the other people just they can't say no to you, you know, right after that. And, but I remember, <laughs> Mona, when I was walking into the uh, hallways of, of these, uh, these functions, mm-hmm. uh, I would see couples that smile at me, and quickly they find it, you know they go and get a drink. <laughs> they they kind of twist around, turn around. Oops, Paul is coming. Oops, Paul is coming, because they knew <laughs> that when I'm there, they're gonna have to give money, and because it was for good cause. And unfortunately, I didn't have any control, or I didn't want to actually have control on right. where the money was going. I mean, I gave it to the Chamber of Commerce. And they paid themselves. They wasted it here. That's a different issue. That's why I stopped doing this and I told my wife, none of these again. I'm not coming to these functions because they're phony. Right. Because I get people who just want to be on a board and they want me to put them in the programs and this and this. And once they come in there, they sit in, a, in, a, in an advisory board and we have meetings. And I have 11 people, 10 people looking at me. And that's what happened. The last thing I started walking away from one after another. I said, you know, I'm happy to do this. But what the hell are you guys doing here? <laughs> what are you doing in here? So I, I remember I had it to, in one of the charities. I had like five-year program documented like in five years I knew what I was going to do. I was going to rebuild the Chamber of Commerce in Ocala. I was going to do a lot of this <laughs> stuff. You know what I'm saying? But listen to me. I walked away. And they were saying, Paul, what about your thing? Can we have that? I said, no, you can't have it. I'm throwing it in the garbage. Don't do it yourself from the scratch. Because, you know what I'm saying? Because it was not benevolent. Right, right, right. And it was all showing themselves off. And then the money that I gave to the person who was the president. Well, you broke out of the third dimension thinking that the money to life is, um, pow- I mean, the power is in the money. Right. Well, anyway, so what, what I did was this. I did this, and I think it had a purpose. I and mean, it, its purpose is to learn, to get some experience, to, to, to do some exercises, because I didn't do it for such a long time. It was a few years, you know. We always gave to charity. We've always done that. But to be that active, that intense, that involved. And I know, this, right? I always so, did it ecologically. I was always in city. Yeah, they knew me in St. Pete, Florida. Because I fought for Mother Earth. I didn't fight for anything but what they were doing, and also to us. 
But I had scientists and all kinds of things behind me, and that's when I learned, you know what? It's all up there rear end with this dollar bill stuff. They didn't have morals. They didn't want to respect their planet or anything else like that. So I had to give up fighting a unjust system of uh, that delusional illusion. Right. Yeah. Well, as far as my uh, future uh, <laughs> ventures in spirituality is concerned, mm -hmm. I can tell you this, and I envisioned all that. There are two times that I'm going to ask. Two, there are two conditions under which I'm going to ask money, okay, for money. One thing is that when we have these functions, they're going to have to pay for their plane tickets. They're going to have to go and... And, and 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 get accommodation. Of course, I'm gonna make sure that everything is organized the cheapest possible way. All this stuff because I want to work for them, not against them. Okay, so they're gonna have to spend money. The other thing is that, that I'm I'm thinking is that at one time, and it's not right now today. Okay, but it may be within a year or two years. I will get into fundraising, and I will be asking people. And I'm hoping, as you started out saying. There are people out there who will see the genuineness that that it is in because it is God. I mean, everything is from high consciousness. If it's not that, the hell with it. Right. The heck with it. Right. I have no. I have no desire. I have no need. I work eighteen, twenty hours a day on a spirituality. I put out papers. I mean, I don't need to say that. Go, go to my website. Go on stuff. See what I and you and you haven't seen anything yet. It's going to be coming and coming. If I'm ticking in here, it's going to be coming. Okay, and I don't even ever ask even for people to subscribe even into my. You, you know what I'm saying? I may encourage them to you know join so they can get they get streamed with new information like where the paper is coming and, well, and like it's also easier to to share because we're in a tech age we're in an age yeah. right now most and we should be actually training ourselves how to telepathically be able to communicate and get the gesture and juncture of the messaging that's going on that has this is what technology has done it has kicked us all out of the true way of communicating i'm not denying it i love this stuff okay I'm, right. But I've only been doing it since 2010. I right. was not in the midst of it until then. Right. And <clears throat> I'm, I'm happy where it's at because I've already had control of who I am, not it controlling me. And right, right. now, a lot of this is all programming. No, you're great. You're very genuine, honey. I, I love you for that. And that's why I continue doing things with you. Because you are not out there for any self-promotion, self this, self that. And, you know, I, I see these people, you know, they, they come to my websites or this, that, and let, get a few information. Suddenly they have a website going in there, which you f I feel great. I said, wonderful. They're disseminating the information. They're propagating. That's what it should be. That's right. the purpose of it. That's, mm -hmm. that's what the sharing is good and all that stuff. But then I see that they have products of... They're selling products. They're doing this. What the heck? Are you doing the business of spirituality? Give oh, me a no. right. But I used to sell you products, know? but it was all single product. It wasn't something How made. Well, I did make my own blends and things like that. So it's just, well, you Honey, know. It's the energies. You know what I'm saying? Well, well, yeah, it is the energies. Yeah, Listen, I do know what you're it, saying. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. It is uh, what I'm saying. Is that uh, for, and I may offer things with crystals and no, this, that's cool. that, I love that. crystals. You know what I'm saying? Just Do you have a favorite guide. crystal, Mosin? Uh, my crystal, favorite crystals are the nine crystals of Atlantis <laughs> that they used to run the entire planet. You have I nine mean, crystals huge. from Atlantis? Because I yeah. supposedly have a crystal from Atlantis. It came to me in three separate pieces. Well, no, the crystals of Atlantis, honey, that I'm talking about are huge. Okay, well, this was one supposedly okay. from... And these are, these are the ones that, are, that, that, you know, that gave the energetics of, of the Earth, that they, they formed the grid-like grid, grid -like, uh, system, you know, with the satellite of the sun. 
and there were nine crystals of Atlantis. I'm going to be talking about Eight. this in one of my programs. Uh -huh. But anyway, going back to that, going back to that, you know, it, you know, it, you may have to offer something. And if somebody comes in my lectures and I have them, if they want to offer a service and they want to get We'll get right back to that. <laughs> sure. It just passes fast. <laughs> yeah, it does. <sighs> well, howdy, howdy, howdy. We are back here at freedomslips.com. Revolution Radio, and the chimes are a ringing and the bells are a singing. Yes, please go to the um, chat page, Mona, right now. <laughs> and let's see what's a happening. We're talking leaks and all kinds of things about the uh, the changes that are coming and that we should all be prepared. And you go to that home page, you donate, and you check out the survival gear. I mean, all kinds of things are happening. What I see with the earthquakes and the other stuff like that, we all need to become more aware. Beware, be aware. And welcome back, Mosin. How is you, darling? I am fine, my dear. I am fine. You got in a garden going? You becoming self-sufficient? Uh, it's, actually, it's actually raining right now. I love to go out there and work. Uh, it is just that uh, I have so much in mind to always get something else done regarding this spirituality. Mm -hmm. Because one, you know, once these, you know, we, you you started out saying by you know, uh, uh, you know, some references as to where people can find things and all that. Okay. Right. And let me let me just complete that. And 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 well, first of all, as I said, just my name, Mosin Paul Safarazi. If you put that in there, I think it's going to satisfy you. You're going to find it. Cool. You're going to, it's going to put you right link to the Facebook. It's going to put you into if there are any uh, uh, future you know, programs that we're going to have, uh, you know, retreats at the Institute, lectures, Way workshops, cool. all this stuff. It's going to be up there. You know, and it's going to actually put you in my old website and it's it's going to also give you a list of papers mm -hmm. that that you know some of them, I don't know why some of them show up and not others but there is enough to satisfy people and once cool. you, get, you know and once you go there and learn the blog you just type the blog's name everything is going to stream down like if you put multidimensional consciousness dot wordpress dot com you're going to get every paper that I've published on that on that blog. But it's going to stream it one after another. So the, all the paper, it looks like it's one article, but there may be a tons of articles. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You can just scroll down and get to the next and get to the next. Or you can go to one of them. At the bottom, it will give you arrows to go to forward or backwards. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it, it leads you on to it. So okay. It's very, it's easy to find me. I mean, so I let's that. um now use now. one of those conscious cosmic um, healing kind of things. Since you know, you the, all the mechanics can be found there. Now, how have you proven to yourself a way that it's valid? Kind of thing. Um, this stuff is extremely valid. There is no buts and ifs about it. I okay. meant personally, most, and I'm not. Oh, <laughs> I got to remember that you're a you know, professor. Okay. Um, let's, okay. <laughs> How can See, I put this? <laughs> yeah, Mona, I try... I'm trying to get in your heart here because it's part of the mind and the um, body, mind, and spirit that all correlates with these teachings and lessons and realities that you're exposing. Right. See, honey, I gave up being a scientist per se a dog work scientist i would call oh well, yeah but you, you know years ago <laughs> and i also stopped teaching you know because it didn't satisfy and it did it, it, it told me the number one the universe is complete you can't you can't add to god you can discover god you you can't add to all the 
everything that now we call Akashic Records and science and everything that's out there, you can only discover it, okay? Einstein didn't know anything significant, but it's discovered a very tiny portion of what is in the, in the universe, okay? And I've done some of that, and it's actually now it's coming to me. Uh, concepts. I can tell you concepts that I, I, I wish you would have some quantum mechanics PhDs who are professors, and I don't care where they teach. They can teach at the, you know, they can teach at Cambridge, or or they could teach at, at Berkeley, or they can teach at, you know, Illinois, you know, or, or whatever they want to teach. You know what I'm saying? The corner. And, and any, any anywhere, Princeton, you know, in physics, whatever, you know, mm-hmm. I, you, you tell me, I'll tell you exactly where the layers are, everywhere, I know all of it, okay, so even, I hope that they would listen, because I'm going to give them some things, and someday they're going to read my papers, and they're going to, they're going to get ideas, they're going to understand their, where to go with their mathematics, mm-hmm. how to do with things, because, now, those are the type of things that I get in my dream state, when I get up in the morning, when I'm 3 o'clock in the morning, why do you think I get up 3 o'clock in the morning? Because I come down in here and I say, you know what? This is what I did three years ago, and now I'm elaborating on that. Mm-hmm. I said, now listen to these terminologies, okay? Just listen to these terminologies. I said, consciousness is not only quantum. Consciousness is discrete. It's not continuous. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're a quantum mechanics person and you have, you have, you know, looked at non-deterministic stochastic processes involved in finding position vector of a, of a particle in space, right. and things like you understand what I'm saying. Yes. I would, I, would tell you, I would tell you about the black holes and I would tell you the information, all the information on the black holes. You can find it right in the surface of the black hole. You know, let's let Hawkins listen to that and see if he understands what I'm saying. Okay, I mean, you know, I don't want to. You tried that. Uh, he's gonna. He, he's. You know what? The problem with some of these. How I talk. To, no, Hawkins is, is, is nobody that I, I I I I actually look up to or respect. He's okay. totally lost. He's totally lost in his brain work, which is the result of physical consciousness. Hmm. Okay, he's he's wiggling his way through something that is so limited, okay, that it will never go anywhere. You got to go to the subconscious universe and you have to go to the superconscious universe before you hit the Akashic Records, before you can understand all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Now, who knows that? Metatron knows that. Lord Metatron knows that. He's the one that's the reason you're talking to me right now. He gave you your consciousness through light. But everything is automated in the macrocosmos and even microcosmos, which is Mm -hmm. yourself. Everything is – and I'm trying to explain to people. And I'm learning more. Three o'clock in the morning, I come in here and I said, voila. I said that three years ago in in my papers and I said this. Two years ago, when I thought about this, that's what it is. That's Aww. what it is. Like, <laughs> like quantum consciousness. Right. Planck's, Planck's number. Same thing. The stochastic process. Same thing. Continu- you know, discrete consciousness. Same thing. Sequential jumping. Same thing. Parallel universes. Same thing. Omniverses. Same thing. It all says the same thing. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it, it, it's basically – anyway. No, I, I want to go back to your question that you said that. I am there in the essence. Maybe 100% I'm there. Mm-hmm. But the way that it's classified or, or understood on, on, the, on, on this planet, I'm not active as a NASA scientist. I could have been there. Actually, uh, I had I – had uh, you know, I, I was at Atlantic Research Corporation, which had to do with all these, uh, you know, I worked at the Ballistic Research Lab, but I didn't like it because it was all weaponry. It was all using all advanced mechanics, composite mm-hmm. structures for for machine, uh, for this. Sacrificing. So, 
for yeah. somebody else's idea of power plays and controls yeah. it. You're right. Don't yeah. account to no, anything. Those... But they are part of us still. Yeah, and I'm well, glad I, to hear I that. I couldn't do that, honey. I went to I went to Atlantic Research Corporation after Maryland. Actually, when I was a, a professor at Maryland in the in the summer, and and I got a job in there. And then they came back, gave me a full time position with a big amount of money to get me quit Maryland and come in there and work for them. So I said, okay. I already found a job at Georgia Tech. So then I I said, okay, I'm quitting Maryland. But I actually didn't tell them I'm going to Georgia Tech. So I went there. I worked with them for about six months, okay? And they were talking about man-rated shoulder missiles and stuff. I said, forget that. The hell with this. I, I'm not going to do this. Right. But, but you know what they did? They put me through all kinds of tests, and they got me one of the highest clearances they could have had. I never even got started in defense system because – it was my heart. It was my. Mm-hmm. It, it was not letting me doing it. Okay, but anyway, to answer your question, honey, it's like this: I'm all the way there because I, I every time I talk to Lord Metatron, he's the chief scientist of the entire cosmos. Okay. Okay. However, as a scientist in here, because some of these people can come in and even make some ignorant. Think to me then say, well, what have you done? You know, well, I could have, I, I could have published papers <laughs> coming out of your ears if I wanted to. Right. I could have written every book there was in there. Honey, there is nothing I need to look up in mechanics. I swear to God. I can sit down and I did it. This paper that I discussed with people, a mathematical model for consciousness or soul body vibration, which is actually in, in the blog. Cool. And I, I I wrote it in July, I think, and <clears throat> it took me about fifteen minutes to write it. No books in mechanics or vibrations or differential equations or, I mean, it's not it's simple mathematics actually to me. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. Yeah. Exactly. I could, I could sit down right now and start looking quantitatively. And, and, and modeling things in, in, in tensor analysis if I wanted to. Mm-hmm. Nothing is forgotten. The ones that were important, they were never forgotten. Okay, because now, but I, how would you, just besides explaining it on paper, <clears throat> what I'm trying to get at is, um, like, instead of it just being such a structure where you have found just your inner smile, your inner, hey, it's all okay kind of time. Because you've earned it. I mean, you know. No, honey. Listen to me. (laughs) Listen to me. I get into the science of the things to satisfy the most intelligent, cerebral, whoever that they think they are. Okay? And I might have not been active in the nitty-gritty details of one thing or another, Mm -hmm. which I can look it up in, 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 in a matter of hours or minutes or, uh, you know, whatever, okay, like plasma physics. I, I'm, I'm not a plasma physicist, but I, I'm reading plasma physics, like mm-hmm. I'm reading, reading candy, eating candy, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. anyway, no, let, let, I don't want to get into this. It's beginning to sound like something that I'm not. So what I'm trying to, trying to tell you is that I try to use the science, but I am for every man out there who's my fellow soulmate. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm doing in my program. Did you watch my program yesterday? Yesterday was Sunday. No, I didn't. Okay, did... from from twelve to two, just like our show. Mm-hmm. Twelve to two is on Sundays, or just the, the you know there's there should be three videos. Two of them are out already, and the one the other one they're gonna f- fix it and see. I don't do anything with that. CCN does all that stuff. Uh huh. And- they're going to put it on their website. It's going, to, it's going to get around right now. Okay. But this is what I, I want to bring the science to explain everything. And I want to bring all the, all the, uh, what can you call the uh, logic? Although I don't believe in a logic system because it's limited. Right. Okay? But you're trying to help people learn what a common sense reality exactly. is placed as. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And appeal to their common sense, which is, they have been trained to be logic, and also it's a part of a part of their paradigm because mm-hmm. duality is polarity. 
Polarity means zero, one. Yes, no. On, off. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And it, it, it means logic. Logic is zero, one. The whole computational uh, mechanics, the whole computational... I used to write computer software programs for analysis of structures and stuff. It is all binary system. And actually, right. I, got into, I got into the computer when computers began... Now people don't understand it. They go in there and pull out a mil- pull down a menu and see graphics and da 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 da. They don't. I went to Fortran. I went to Basics. I went to writing the subroutines as how to do something. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So anyway, but what Designer. I'm trying to yes, and and from first 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 principle, that's why I appreciate life. That's why I appreciate consciousness. And right. I was meant I was meant to do that. There's nothing I went through out my education, okay? There were times I was at, uh, remember, university, George Washington University. I was doing my PhD. I was also actually in visiting assistant professor, they called me. But I used to, I swear to God, uh, uh, Mona, three days, four days, I wouldn't eat. I wouldn't do anything. Constantly, night to day to night, I was, I was in the computer center. Trying to make software programs work. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I, I wrote program feed, carf, this, that, which, which are very elementary from now, today's thing, because they were fundamental. But there were all the foundation is there. Finite element analysis, numerical techniques, energy methods, all this kind of stuff. But anyway, going back to this, honey, I'm all heart. Mm. But the heart has got integrated with the brain and in fact it's eaten up the brain right i don't consider myself as intelligent or cerebral or anything that i that I'd left and right people told me whether i was fundraising or i was giving lecture or i was at the university or when i was i used to speak with perfect perfect british accent <laughs> you're not going to believe it i had a king's english if on on the phone if i talked on the phone you know you, you wouldn't even understand I'm not British. <laughs> yeah, that I get your drift. <laughs> I was that kind of a perfectionist. But now, uh, actually, I just despise that. Oh, because geez. the Windsor family, <laughs> you know, they represent what they have to be shunned. Okay? But anyway, this is me. I sound like a foreigner. Sometimes I may sound like a real, real foreigner. But that's me. That's a heart. That's the true me. That's where it comes in. When I was doing this, I was trying to be smart and intelligent, and I look good, and anybody said so. But you know what I was doing? I was just I was like an actor. Yeah, right. Your ego was in charge, ego, not your ego soul or your spirit, exactly. right. And I can talk well, you to you. Well, you have to have your spirit there, I guess. I can talk on the radio right now that impresses, that excuse the French, my French, shit out of anybody out there. Oh. <laughs> but I'm not going to do it. You know, I mean, ego, ego is, is redundant. Right. You know what I'm saying? It is, it is, <laughs> it is there to keep you in a 3D. Mm-hmm. And it is there as an alarm clock, and it is there so nobody steps on your, your, your face. And it is there for you to protect yourself against the other aspect of duality. If you don't have it, you're going you're gonna to perish. Mm-hmm. When the negative things come to you, your ego says, well, it doesn't feel good. And you fight that. That's how you should use your ego. So without ego, you can't ascend. Okay? But that is the crux of ego that God gave you. Well, but is it controlling you or are you controlling no, it? You That's, I think, the you whole... You don't let it control you. You've got... God gave you thought. You know, that yesterday, actually, I talked about <laughs> these things in my program. I talked about... Uh, you know, I, 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 I started modeling, okay, I presented them to a mathematical model, model for soul vibration or animation or life, Okay. And in, in that, I started from spirit and soul and mind and body and all the fundamental things and the free will and ego. and So I told them about all that stuff. Free will is what it is. The power of will is what it is that you have to discern 
and you have to the energies come to you they're all just they stream to you they're out there and they're getting very potent mhm you need well because to, like attracts like we're all having magnetic situations and fluctuations and things are just you know but they're they're never going to organically be the same that's what kind of makes me feel a little uh, Low well, on things, yeah, but is, otherwise, you have, to be, you have to be. See, this is what we started out saying. We, we, you have to be, and this is what I'm teaching myself. You have to really, really go be out there and be a master of yourself and be in control and be the king that you are, be the god that you are. You want to dodge all these negative crap and don't let it. You know, consume you, but the good energies that are coming in, you want those nice adamantine particles. You want to absorb that within your system, and you want to actually. What you will do after a while, you'll find electromagnetism goes away. The polarity system goes away. You're going to have a monolithic system that everything is only good, positive. And the principles are number one, creation, okay? And one, the next thing you're going to recognize, when you get there, you are get, you're really getting there. Unconditional love and the way it manifests itself is service. Service to God, service to humanity, service to cosmos, service to beingness. Okay? So... To say, oh, I'm not getting paid for this. I'm not doing this. I mean, the the, the whole rea- the whole mentality, the paradigm of duality, is going to change. It's already changing. I see people coming into my Facebook and say the nice thing, and this is like maybe two percent of the people who actually think and or in the same movement. They just don't express themselves. They don't just go and click like or say share well, because of Im- expectations of fear of what might happen from their actions they don't no, let in trust I, mean, I, 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 think, I think they don't think that way I, I'm actually one of those people you know what I'm saying I, I, I don't you know I, I've always been a big encourager because I've been a professor a teacher and a father you know and all this stuff but a, a lot of times people don't enunciate a good energy, a good thing that they feel, and they may feel like you're doing a great job. But not everybody's going to say that. But even from those people who say it, I see it where the movement is going. Because they appreciate what's going on. You know what I'm saying? They're, they appreciate that what we're doing in here is we, I'm being a beacon of light. And they learn. And they do the same thing. Cool. And the way they, they do that is by sharing. <laughs> okay. I'm going to share my giggle. <laughs> you don't agree with me? <laughs> oh, I agree with you. I was just no, doing something else and giggling at the same time. Oh, okay. <laughs> are you having fun? Are, are you having a, Are you having a, uh, uh, okay, I know what you're doing. <laughs> well, I, fa- I found that I had to learn to unshun what those outside of me thought I was supposed to be in their eyes that I became. And so when you can untwist all that twisted lies, you know, then you, you can get, just you be yourself. Done. You don't need an ego to try yeah. to protect that child because... The child is my inner child flips you off first if you think you're gonna have oh, me do so something that you know I know in my spirit I ain't doing. Yeah, and uh, you know I've talked, <laughs> I've talked about this often, and I'm gonna talk about it more. And I talked about it yesterday in the show that you know the unity consciousness, the collective consciousness, right. is the way to go. Okay. Well, no but, you know, some, a lot of us still have it because they think just knowing how to obey traffic rules and laws and things like that and that they're being the good human by, like you said, donating to things that don't really do anything but benefit themselves. And, you know, um, yeah. but 
no competition. <coughs> right. No jealousy. Okay? I like that. Mm-hmm. And and sharing. Okay. If you got a, if you got information, you know, no proprietorism. That oh, this is proprietary. Oh, after they're gonna use my stuff. You know, I know when right? I when I started <laughs> writing these articles, when I started doing stuff, I haven't made a dollar from anything all these years. Okay. I've spent money more than anything. I've spent tens of thousands of dollars. I don't know, hundred thousand dollars probably going to to spiritual meetings and giving lectures or that doing this and this and this one. And and you know what? What it does? You know, it does not have to be valued, evaluated from the point of money. The first right. thing that has to go, the, the Mona. The first thing that has to go on this planet is money. Oh, do the Pope's coming up right with that? Boy, he must be reading somebody's mind. No, I mean, oh my gosh, it's going to put so much fear into people. We need to collect no, yeah, no. to know you it's not mean, what's keeping us alive. It's just an illusion. You know, you're only you're only expending a small portion of this three percent of what is on this planet. Right. So, what do you think you're doing? Even the richest of you are the poorest, the poorest, because God gave you more of that. In your shares, but you're not getting it. Right, 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 right. Well, okay. we're getting so it that, in all kinds of ways if we learn to appreciate what life is showing us. Yeah, and, and, you know, this guy, you know, I said that 30 some years ago, 40 years ago, when I came to the United States, <coughs> because I found that, you know, in the United States, really the lair, the, the sewer for these kind of things, this competition, this jealousy, this, this memeism, this, this. Right. All this stuff and money, 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 money. You know. Oh, but to- you're a Taurus, and you and I both like money. I mean, <laughs> I don't like money. I don't. Give <laughs> I'd a love to have some big money. credits on my side, and if it comes in money, money currency, right now, oh my gosh, I'd be at the homepage bugging out, bag buying. Exactly, and but you know what? You're richer because your soul is rich. Okay, giving service. Is all it counts. Your life in here on this planet doesn't mean anything. All it means is a day and an excursion in a park. Mm-hmm. You're at Disneyland. No thanks. You know, you, no, no. I, I'm, I'm just you know I'm being recorded. You know what I'm saying? You are in a park. You're in an amusement park. Okay, oh. any amusement park. Bush Gardens? <laughs> I don't care. Whatever. I love You're... Bush Gardens, but <laughs> Disney's just nah. oh, Disney's is just. Phew. Yeah, we all I've, know. Disney I've seen the facade of that a long time. Oh, I could tell you stories about Disney. You don't don't get me started on that. <laughs> because well, we're not yeah. going to get started on anything because it's our uh, break. So we shall okay. return, darling. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Adventures of a Feral Hippie. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I never thought I'd enjoy clicks so much than this little mousy pad tap thingy. God, there's so much information going on in chat right now. It's like, oh my gosh, slow down. I can't post all that at the same time. I mean, gosh. Anyway, it is part of the illusion, but I'm trying to help figure out how we can mend ourselves into feeling better about it, but stepping up out of it, you know? How do we do that, Mosin? I mean, we got to do... I always believed in our inner hums, you know, not the ohm as much as it is, hmm, you know, our own hum. <laughs> right, right. Well, actually, let me, <clears throat> let me respond to that, honey. Um, it is a very, very good question. Okay. Basically, you need to consider three things, as I can see it. Okay. Mm-hmm. The first thing is that you need to build self assurance and confidence, of course, without any narcissism or ego or anything, mm-hmm. but really self satisfaction and, and loving yourself and what you're doing and loving your experience in here on this planet at this point, okay? Once you have that confidence, once you have that self-assurance, then you can deal with these energies effectively. And once you deal with these energies effectively, you are going to defeat the dark. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about cabals. Don't worry about all this stuff. That don't matter. Yeah, worries. What matters... 
what matters is you. Is who, you're the boss. God gave you a gift that is. It's a, you have to understand. You have to come back and get away from all this inferiority complex and Darwinism and all this nonsense, and understand your divinity. Understand your pedigree, your essence, where you mm-hmm. come from, because you come from right from the belly of God. You come from that conscious, super mega consciousness that was out there. And you're you don't con- get disconnected when you get here. You're still connected. exactly, exactly, exactly. But a lot of people feel a disconnection because man's laws have overridden the common sense of creation's laws. Well, honey, that's self-assurance. First of all, once you're awakened to, to your essence, okay? Right. And once you see this, and then once you have confidence, and once you start actually, uh, what is it, uh, executing that confidence that you have, you know, you come to your, your performance, to, to what you should be doing, okay? Mm-hmm. And then once you do this, you're going to defeat the dark. And then you're going to defeat, meanwhile, you're going to defeat duality. Mm -hmm. Now, once you defeat duality, you defeat the dark. And in the meanwhile, you have put the ego right where it belongs in the little corner. Okay? And you just hang in there. Because if the ego is not there, you're going to be dead. You're going to be gone. I can assure you of that. That's how the cosmos work. This is good ego, though. It's not bad ego. Right, you got to always have that duality in mind. Mm. Well, you, no, you want to go beyond duality. Once you go, see, you go duality, then you dismiss the ego, and then you ascend, you know? Right, trinity. Right, uh, you know, okay. Well, you're center. I, it's a trinity. To me, that is the next elemental building block of what we're trying to get through using this stuff. Because everything has an equal and opposite no matter what. Right, that's the karma. But if you don't choose sides, right, Right. you just feel the emotions through them, then that brings you to the trinity. You're centered within. That's in my opinion. Yeah, that we're saying the same thing. And and that the other thing, you know, so the first thing was the self, the confidence, the self-assurance, okay? The second thing that you want is faith. Mm-hmm. That is, when you're going out of here, there is something wonderful and good and benevolent. And so you're talking that, no fear of death. That's what uh, your faith no is. Fe- no fear of death. Joining, you, you were talking about going home. Yes, you're going oh, home. I? I, I thought you said home. You said om or home. I, I, it was I thought, an om at the time I did the hum thing. Because I believe we're already within the home Because we're in Not on We're not separated Mm -hmm. We're in the home man (laughs) When you're synchronous With that (laughs) om that you're talking about You're going home So om and home are Kind of interchangeable in my opinion Anyway So then you're That's what it is You have the faith And you feel good You feel you know, you don't feel depressed. Oh, you know what? No more shopping. No more money. No more. <laughs> no more showing me myself off. No more looking good. No more right. plastic surgery. Whatever. You know, <laughs> Boy, you've been up there, huh? <laughs> no, I haven't. Good. I haven't. No, but you've seen it. To I recognize it. Me. Come on. Listen to me. Right now, I can do plastic <laughs> surgery, and I know this. I'm not stupid. I can put the slightest plastic surgery. I'm going to look like 30 years old, and I'm 60 years old almost. But I don't care. Right. I don't want to. I love, I, I like the way I am. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's form. Yeah, the maturity you know? happened, and you like it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And the third thing, after you do all this stuff, you come to the to the most most important thing, which is unconditional love, understanding unity consciousness, mm-hmm. and with that, not only it is a warm fuzzy pool to be in, secure, tranquil, and and I don't mean being in there. 
and 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 being a, a freeloader. Mm-hmm. I mean, you do your part, but everybody else adds to your part. Right. And, and everybody has everything. So not oh look at the look, look at this. If you could like I'm I'm living in this house, right? Every single person has a dock in here or, or get a dock and, and, and want a pool. I don't have a pool. I don't want a pool. Mm-hmm. But if we were in such a place, and they've tried to do this but with a different purpose. You know, you don't need 500 pools around here. On every block there could be one good pool everybody could use. Mm-hmm. You know, one good block everybody could launch their stuff. But they have to... They have to love each other. They have to get along with each other. They have to have no jealousy, no show off, no this, no this, no this. That's why you, you, when the separatist attitude comes, then you're talking about privacy and things of that nature. Right. Okay? Now, in collective consciousness, you are in a warm, fuzzy environment, but you add your temperature. You add a, your one, two degrees. The other person add and all are at 75 degrees, 73 degrees, or I don't know. To me, that's the, that, that's the uh, comfortable thing on Earth, 74, 75. Okay, mm-hmm. 75. I don't like 68, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, <laughs> whatever it is, okay? So that's it. And then after that, the most important thing at that time that comes becomes a, a common, common uh, what is it? Uh, behavior. Co- common behavior, and, and 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 it becomes it becomes what's the word I'm thinking about? It becomes the logic, if you want. I don't. I didn't want to use the word logic. Character. It becomes, um. it becomes the norm. It becomes mm. the it becomes the thing to be, and that is service. Because you say I'm going to give. How about service. just joy in being? Isn't that a service? No, 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 no. Joy, honey. <laughs> joy of being. Joy of being. It's on the side. You're doing all this stuff. That is the outcome of it. Tranquility, prosperity, joy. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff. We're not. That's on a different kind of category. Right. I'm talking about what you're doing. What you got to do. You know, confidence, faith. And then unconditional love and this compassion. Sounds like and, my show. Which leaves to service. <laughs> yes, of course. Why do you think I love you? <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. I thought it just because I have a good giggle. <laughs> no. <laughs> you got good energies, honey. I can, I can feel you in here. In my I don't have to be, excellent, man. I don't have to be in the Carolinas. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? If yeah. I weren't like this, I would just, uh, you know, two yeah. shows I would have been gone. I would have been finished. But anyway, <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm saying is that that's, you know, service makes sense mm-hmm. to people on, on this paradigm of reality, in this, this sewer of duality. But it can be just consideration, like holding a door open. I do it for the men. Oh, of course. I mean, why the heck not? And they're like, oh, service what? Is service. You know, service wait a minute. It's not money. <laughs> Service is not just giving money and letting people in in line who've been waiting. You know, sir. You know, just yeah. being not um, compassionate as much as it is empathetic. You know, you could be in that spot. Or, what did I say? You know, I come from Iran originally. Okay, Persia. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to put up Persia to you or anybody. I don't want to say this or this, but there are some fantastic thing in that old country. Mm-hmm. That are just so amazing treasures everywhere, and, and and people don't even realize that the people who are out there, that maybe they don't realize it to the extent I'm saying, but there is hospitality. There you go. For example, I'm telling you this, Nona, Mona. If you go to somebody's house, okay, and any anybody who's poor in the villages or whatever. You go and sit there, they put you in the nicest chair and put all the nice cushion around you. If they have just a little, a few candies or few, because they're poor, they don't have the money, they bring that to you. Mm-hmm. They bring, if they have some fruit and some, they bring you the nicest things that they have. Yeah, my housemate does that. <clears throat> and when I went to England <laughs> the first time, okay? 
I saw these people. I'm going by, and it's not money again, but it's just the generosity. It's just it's just the way you're brought up, and you see, they they just have problems giving you anything. And even if they give you a birthday present, which they don't usually, I had a guy, you know what I'm saying, that we <laughs> had, I think it was one of my pastors actually at that time, that I had really, really pampered him and stuff, and <clears throat> gave me one <clears throat> saucer, a little saucer, 20 cents saucer, wrapped it and gave it to me. I mean, this is, it is and I'm just telling you this. The reason just that it's just because, oh, okay, you did all this stuff. I got to do something. It was probably guilt. I'm just saying you share. You got something. You share. You well, even if it's just a smile or a helping hand or yeah, any kind does. of consideration, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. Because we're also all being used in certain directions of our talents to help ease the things around us. I mean, we're just, you know, servants as well. But, I mean, I don't want to say it as servants because I'd rather choose for the joy and the harmony than the hell and the sacrifice. Exactly. You know, you're a lawyer. Think about the person's <laughs> rights. Not, you know, I had this guy that we had, we had one case I remember with my, you know, in our office. And he comes here, this this guy actually, you know, I hate to tell you this, but a lot of them are Jews, you know. I hate to tell you this, but well, because they they put so much emphasis on money. Anyway, he came in, he went into the in into the uh 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 waiting room. The first thing he came in here said, Good God, you guys are doing a killing in here, making so much money. And my wife was an angel. People came to her, people are still crying. They can't find an ophthalmologist because they think she's gone. We don't have anything. Okay? That's why she was popular. That was a, she, she never wrote a book. She never went to conference and show herself up. She never did anything. She gave service. She was, she was like, a, like the old school doctor, house calling type doctor. Okay? Mm -hmm. and now, but listen to me. You are an attorney. Think of giving service. And this guy comes in there. And he just, you know what? For a small case of foreclosure that I had, which would have cost $1,500, $2,000, any judge would allow that. I paid them $35,000. And then later, I, when I fired him because he, did, I, he lost my properties. And then after he lost my properties, it cost me several thousand dollars to hire other uh, the, the lawyers who uh, – in turn didn't do anything and then after that he went and sued me for $75,000 more money $110,000 for one I am not kidding I swear to God and when I went to the judge the judge looked at it and threw it out of the court he was laughing at this $75,000 more and, and he went and, and re appealed it Appealed it. What, you know why? Because he thought, myself and my wife, we can't afford it. His idea of giving justice was not to take care of my rights, which was his responsibility. It was to eat, devour like a worst, worst animal. Actually, animals are not that. I take it, I apologize for saying that. Animals get a feel. You know, the hyenas and the right, dogs right. and all this. When they eat, they walk away. They're done. What the heck do you want? 35000 They're vultures, honey. They go after the carrion oh, that's left over. About. And I've oh, seen... Pick I've the seen, bones. Pick the bones. <laughs> yeah, I've seen, I've seen more than that. And I tell you what. They'll get the their vibrations as they call them to them. No, but I want to tell you something. There is, there is a certain... There's more divinity mm -hmm. in vultures and in hyenas than this example of, uh, uh, you know, attorneys. <laughs> and I've seen several of them like that, okay? Right. And, and I, I've had very bad experiences. I think it's, there's a reason I did that. I went through this. So I understand these concepts. Mm -hmm. So I know 
how to feel and what to talk to people and all this stuff. Everything is for a purpose. Trust mm-hmm. me. Oh, well, I do. But, 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 li- but listen, I that... I trust you. <laughs> I yeah, try, but, you wouldn't be here on Monday if, if I didn't have a trust for you, Mosin. I well, mean, thank you, huh. honey. I, that's that's <laughs> I appreciate that. But what I, what I'm saying is that that vulture. I don't look at vultures in a in a in a in a, in a revolting way. Yeah, I, mean, I was watching a program about uh, uh, crocodiles that they were devouring things like this, and I could understand what was going on. They're hungry. That's that's that that's this is the way of the nature. Mm-hmm. And by the way, Lord Metatron says, you come in, you give your flesh, you feed them, you you have an experience, and you move up in scale, because that is a service. You know, this might be tough for some people to understand that. So, there are. You know, all, throughout, look at the nature. Nature makes sense, and it's it's not right. wild. It is actually very div- divine, because every one of them has a purpose. They come in, they have their experience, and then they donate basically their body. They give their body. That's why he says, Thanksgiving. You make sure the first thing you do, you give thanks to the to the turkey. That you're eating mm-hmm. before you give thanks to God and this or prosperity or or your luck or this or that, right? Or your family or health or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. So anyway, um, that is, you know, this is something that there are these, you know, greed, competition, all these low chakra trends. Because mm-hmm. basically, when you live on planet earth you you only live with three or three chakras basically the rest of them are dormant the four the other four chakras apart from your throat voice chakra and that's <laughs> you know they're basically dormant your 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 uh, heart chakra you know your thymus doesn't even exist in the seven chakras okay pituitary doesn't even exist it comes in the 13th chakra when you uh, you know, uh, working out to, to crystallinity, and pineal is is dormant, and the only things that you have, you've got your root chakra, you've got your your your, your uh, what is it this, this what is it, sac I don't know what sacral, S- chakra sacral. Or whatever. yeah S- yeah sacral because mm-hmm. that that's your genitalia basically that's for reproduction and. Uh, you know, survivalism of survival of the species or stuff like this. And then the other one, you have your gut chakra. The the thing that you have the most is your solar plex, basically, your gut chakra. The the other ones are they're they they're not having even lit, lit, they don't even light up. That's sad. Well, that's duality. That's why you know, and you know, we've talked chakras and said. Later, I think we should go through each one of these chakras and 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 talk to, you know, about it so people That'd get something great. out of it. Yeah, and I'm I'm going to cover that in in one of my uh, programs. But before I we go, I I just wanted to tell you this, and you said it before, and and I you know we started talking about other things, and I probably didn't respond to it well. Um, you know, if if you want, if if these programs are are interesting to you, and it, you know, they, if they're not interesting, you wouldn't be listening to it anyway. So we mm-hmm. have no problems with that. Uh, you know, the <laughs> other show that I do is, you know, it's a video show. It's a two-hour, and I talk nonstop. Okay, I try to give information as much as I can. It is on Sunday from twelve to two. And if you want to watch yesterday's show, because it's going to be available in about two, three days on uh, on, on, on the uh, YouTube. And, you know, we talked about fundamentals of life. There we go. Well, I think it's also now the second step has happened, so it's all good. So you're on a roll, and we're going to roll next week. And uh, I think chakras as a conversation would be cool. 
Thank you, right. darling. We can talk about that. Okay, dear. <laughs> Have a nice weekend. All Thank right. You. We'll get back at you ASAP. Uh, love and peace to you. Okay. That's right. <laughs>